Sunday because it's all about God's love. It's Easter. Happy Easter. It's not all about Easter eggs and the bunnies, but this is the important part, the best part of Easter. And so that's what I'm going to talk to you today about is the best part of Easter. So today, what shape do you think that is? That's right. It's a heart because we're going to talk about God's love because heart means to me means love, right? And God loves us so, so much. And so today, that's what our story is about. It's all about how much God loves us. He loved us so much. He gave his son to be our friend forever. Jesus was on earth. He did amazing things. He did so many amazing things that we could talk all day about all the great things Jesus did. But on the last day he was on earth, he had supper. And you know what supper is? Do you know what supper means? It means dinner. So he had dinner with the disciples. And at dinner, he told the disciples, I'm going to go away. But I'm going to come back 
So after having all the dinner with his friends, he went to pray. Jesus went to go pray by himself. And when he went to pray, some angry people came and they took him. And they killed Jesus. Jesus died. So I'm very sad. Can everybody show me their sad faces? Whoa, that's a sad face. When Jesus died, they put him in a tomb. Jesus is in a tomb and he is dead. So Jesus is dead and I'm very sad. But you know, in three days, can you count with me? Three days, one, two, three. Do you know what happened after the third day? The tomb was opened and he wasn't inside, it was empty. Did you know Jesus was alive? So we're happy we celebrate today because Jesus is alive. This is the best news ever. Can I see your happy face, friends? Yay! This is my happy and excited face. It's all of them. So this is the greatest news, is that our Lord came back for three days. So now that's why we celebrate Easter, and it's really a great day. So let's pray. God, we thank you. We thank you that you come back in three days. We thank you for all our family and friends. We ask you to keep us safe. And we just thank you for being our friend forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you guys remember what our memory verse is? I am with you always. Matthew 28, 20. Bye, guys. See you next week. Good morning, O Kids. My name is Mr. Michael, but before we get started on the Bible story today, I would just like to wish everyone a happy Easter. So thank you for joining us. So let's get on with the Bible story today. Now we're gonna, be, we're gonna pick up where we left off from last Sunday. Last Sunday was Palm Sunday, and Jesus had arrived in Jerusalem. Everybody was happy, they had laid down their coats, and they had laid down the palms for Jesus as he rode into town. Well. Things were looking good, but today's story, not so good for Jesus. Things started to look a little dark. And because the religious leaders had plotted to get rid of Jesus, because they didn't understand or they didn't believe Jesus was the Son of God. So they had, had came up with a plan to use one of his closest disciples to betray him. His name was Judas. I know you've probably heard of Judas. He's going to betray Jesus. But before that, they had a special Passover dinner. Now during that dinner, Jesus told his disciples, he's going to be going away shortly, and you, will, you won't see me for a while, but then you will see me. The disciples didn't understand what he was talking about, but you know Jesus, he knows everything. He also, um, told them that that night, some people, his, well, or his disciples, were going to betray him or deny him, not betray him, was going to deny him and act like they didn't know Jesus. And Peter, he jumped up and said, Jesus, I would never deny that I knew you. I would never do that. But Jesus knew everything. But Peter just, he was just so adamant about, I would not deny him. So Jesus, after the Passover supper, they went to the garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane. And he went there to pray because Jesus knew what was coming. He knew he was going to endure some pain and some suffering. So he went to Gethsemane, to the garden, with the disciples to pray. And he prayed to God. And while he was praying, you know, the disciples couldn't even stay awake while he was praying. So, while he was in the garden, that's when the soldiers came to arrest Jesus. And as they stormed in the garden to arrest Jesus, you know, like I said, one of his disciples was leading the way, and his name was Judas. But when they came through there, Peter jumped up and defended Jesus. And he actually drew his sword and cut off one of the um, soldier's ear. But Jesus told him, no, put down your sword. 
He knew that he had to go through what he had to go through. He knew he had to be arrested. So they bound him and took him away. Now as they took him away, Peter and John followed him at a distance, of course. Because remember, everybody that associated with Jesus, they wanted to kill them because they supported Jesus. So as they took Jesus away, um, Peter and John followed them from a distance. So as they took them, took Jesus into the courthouse, Peter, he stayed outside. John went in. Now as Peter was standing outside with uh, some other people that was out there keeping warm by the fire, somebody asked Peter, said, hey Peter, weren't you just with Jesus? Weren't you one of his followers? Peter said, no, I don't know him. That was his first denial. He said he didn't know Jesus. Again, as he continued to walk around and wait to see what was going to happen to Jesus, some other people asked him, said, weren't you with Jesus? Weren't you just with him? Peter again said, no. Then a third time, somebody asked Peter, did you know Jesus? He said, no. Then the rooster crowed after he denied Jesus the third time. And Peter felt really bad because he had denied Jesus and Jesus told him that you were going to deny me and the crow was going to, the rooster was going to crow after that third denial. So Peter felt really bad. But as Jesus was in front of the religious leaders, they brought some fake witnesses against him because they wanted to get rid of Jesus. Now, one thing the religious leaders could not do, they could not crucify him or put him to death without the approval of the governor, which was Pilate. So they had to send Jesus to Pilate. So when they sent Jesus to Pilate, Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus told him, the kingdom that I'm from is not here. So Pilate was like, well, I don't find no fault. You haven't done nothing. So he went back to the people and said, I find no fault in this man. Why do you want to have him crucified? But the people shouted more, crucify him, crucify him. Even though Jesus hadn't done anything since he'd been on earth. Only thing he did was heal people and help people and feed people but they wanted to crucify him because they didn't believe that he was the son of God. So Pilate, he had to do what the people said. So they sent him with the soldiers to be crucified. And the soldiers made some thorns with some sharp edges and made a crown and set it on his head. Then after they did that, they made Jesus carry his cross to be crucified through the streets. They made him, put him through so much pain before he was put on the cross. Then as he was put on the cross and nailed his hands to the cross and his feet, and this was the middle of the day, so the sun was high. It was, it was, it was sun shining, but that day it became dark as night. And after a while, Jesus died. But that's not the end of the story yet. This is Easter, it's not the end of the story. After Jesus died, they prepared his body for burial. They put him in the tomb. They rolled a heavy stone over it. They even put guards on it to make sure nobody don't come and steal his body or something don't happen. So on the third day, Mary Magdalene went to go and see the body, went to go visit the grave. When, he went to, when she went to go visit, the stone was rolled away, and that's a heavy stone, but the grave was empty. She was like, what happened to Jesus? Somebody done stole his body. What is going on here? So she ran back to Peter and John, the disciples. Said, somebody done stole Jesus. What has happened? But you know, so they came back and looked. They did not know what happened to Jesus. But when Mary went back again, she saw two angels, and the angels actually, who are you looking for? Why are you looking amongst the dead? 
And when she looked around, she heard a voice, and it was Jesus. See, even though all these bad things happen, Jesus is still alive. That's what Easter is all about. Yes, he died for our sins. He went upon the cross, and he died for all of our sins, even though he did not commit one sin while he was here on earth. So even though when bad things happen, we always have to remember Jesus is still alive because the tomb is empty. So whenever you think of Easter, I know you have other things that's going on for Easter. Remember, the main thing about Easter is the resurrection of Jesus. When he died and rose again for our sins and took it upon himself for our sins. So remember, the bottom line is when things are going bad or look bad, remember, Jesus is always alive and is still alive. So enjoy your Easter. Remember the story of Jesus and how he suffered for us. Thank you. And stay tuned for our next week's Bible story also. But before we go, we got to do our memory verse. You thought I forgot, didn't you? So let's go to our memory verse. Our memory verse is going to come from John 16, 33. In this world, you will have trouble. But be encouraged, I have won the battle over the world. Let's say that again. John 16 and 33. In this world, you will have trouble. But be encouraged, I have won the battle over the world. So now, stay tuned for next week. You know, we still have another exciting Bible story for you. And enjoy your Easter. Thank you. Bye-bye. Got it. You ever wonder why we celebrate Easter every year? Here's why. When sin entered the world, people and God were separate. It was easy to see how far apart we were. People tried to make it up to God but the price was too steep. So, God came up with a plan. A plan to save our... hearts. A plan to save the whole earth. God's plan was to send Jesus, his one and only son. Jesus died to erase all of our sins from the past and all of our sins in the future too, a price we could never repay. Jesus died because of his great love for us. And we celebrate Easter because we remember that Jesus' death wasn't the end of the story. Jesus came back to life to give us hope so that when we believe, we'll have a relationship with God that will last forever. He rose from the dead to show that he's more powerful than any fear or any problem we may have. He rose so that we would know this one thing. Whatever happens, remember Jesus is alive. So, no matter what's puzzling you, you can be sure that Jesus is with you. He loves you and he is still very much alive. Happy Easter, everyone. What? Oh. <laughs> or eaters, I guess. Happy eaters. Let me just... Uh... Easter, everybody! And just for good measure, one more of these bad boys. <laughs> Woo! Happy Easter! I'll see you next time, peeps. <laughs>